Hello and welcome, I'm Marshall Brain and today's big science question is, what do yeast like to eat? So let's start at the beginning. What is yeast? Now we buy it at the grocery store in little envelopes like this. It comes as a dry powder and there are five cool facts that we can learn about yeast. Fun fact number one, yeast is a fungus and just like you and me it has to eat. Fun fact number two, after it eats, it produces carbon dioxide gas, just like you and me. Fun fact number three. The easiest place to see that carbon dioxide gas is in a piece of bread. All these little bubbles that you see in bread are carbon dioxide gas bubbles that were produced by yeast. Fun fact number four. The yeast in this envelope are in suspended animation. When you mix the powder with water, trillions of tiny yeast cells come back to life instantly. Fun fact number five, those cells are incredibly tiny. Say you took a piece of hair and you cut it and you looked right down on the end of that piece of hair. This yellow circle is the end of a piece of hair. These little blue circles are yeast cells. You could fit 10 to 20 little tiny yeast cells across the diameter of a piece of hair. So how do we figure out what yeast like to eat? We can't really ask them, hello, what do you like to eat? And you know, they can't talk. So what we're going to do is do an experiment and we're going to feed them five different foods. We're going to feed them salt, oil, flour, sugar, and a cookie. And we're going to see which one they like the most by measuring the amount of carbon dioxide gas that they produce. So let's start with the cookie. A cookie weighs eight grams. So we can go ahead and measure out eight grams of all our other foods. So here we have eight grams of sugar, eight grams of oil, eight grams of flour, eight grams of salt. To mix our yeast, we're going to pour six glasses of water. And we're going to mix one package of yeast into each cup. We've got our six cups of yeast, we've got our five foods, and I've got six Ziploc bags. We're using Ziploc bags so that we can capture the carbon dioxide gas that the yeast produces and measure it and that way we'll know which food they like to eat the most. Into the first bag we're just going to pour yeast. That's our control. We want to see what happens when yeast has nothing to eat. In the other five bags we'll put a cup of yeast and some food. Here we're going to put yeast and our salt. Our experiment is started. We just have to come back in an hour or two and see which one has the most carbon dioxide gas in the bag. Whichever has the most contains the food that the yeast like best. So about an hour and a half has passed and let's look at what happened. Here's our control. We didn't feed the yeast anything. What we learned is that yeast have to have something to eat. They don't like to starve and they produce no carbon dioxide gas here. They did exactly the same thing with salt. Salt is not food for yeast. Here's the one where we fed them oil. They don't like oil either. Oil is not food. Flour, they ate a little bit. If you look, you can see little tiny bubbles in here, but they aren't super excited about flour. Here's the cookie bag. Yeast like cookies. They produce some carbon dioxide gas, but what yeast really like is sugar. They produced a ton of carbon dioxide gas when they ate sugar. So we started with a question. What do yeast like to eat? And we did an experiment. We found that at least out of the five foods we fed them, they like sugar the best. Now you could do a lot of other experiments. For example, you could try feeding them other stuff. What about apple juice? What about orange juice? What about lemonade? See if they like those. You could try mixtures. You could try changing the temperature. If they're warm or cold, do they produce carbon dioxide gas faster? You could try anything and see what is it that yeast like the best. And that's the point of science, to try experiments and learn new things. Have fun performing your own science experiments.